final four. Big time, second quarter is here. Patulo yung action sa NCAA Season 100. Mark Navier with Prince Rivero taking you through this coverage. And that is EAC with first possession down by seven to begin the second quarter. Wilma Rostana could not compound on his three-pointer to end the first. Good decision para dito kay Coach Yuri. Ano, naibalik ito si Yuki para magkaroon ng matchup si Oftana yeah. na medyo agile din na nakakasabay sa kanya. Ay kanina, naiwan na itong si Wilmar Oftana baffled, poking it away from Chris Martina. At itong EAC Generals. Ito naman, Prince, they're experiencing a slow start and usually EAC hirap humabol kapag ka slow start sila. What, what are the changes you are expecting here from Coach Jersey? And so far, ano, sa nakikita ko sa lineup na meron sila sa loob, nabanggit mo na efficient itong mga player na nandiyan dyan. Although medyo mainit pa itong San Beda dahil pumapasok yung mga tira nila. Ang feeling ko na dapat gawin ng EAC is bilisan pa nila yung pace nila and to make sure na ma-involve nila yung mga shooters nila and mahulog yung mga tira nila. Kaya nandiyan si Dormal. Axel here from straight away. By the way, San Beda has already equaled the number of three-pointers they had against EAC in the first round. Five out of ten from long distance. And alam natin na tendency rin itong San Beda na pag mainit sa umpisa, chances are hahanapin talaga nila yan hanggang matapos yung game. And kung tuloy-tuloy na mainit, magkakaproblema itong EAC. It is vital for San Beda to compound on this hot start and for EAC to not let go of the rope. Kapigan itong uh, San Beda Red Lions but they will retain possession. And yan yung gustong nakikita nito ni Coach Gerson. And dapat makita rin ng mga teammates nila. Ito si King Gortiza. Imagine mo, isa siya sa mga leader ng team na inaasahan nila sa opensa. Pero kung may pressure sa depensa at humahasil. Wow. This is gonna be a tiring game for King as Agle drains his third triple of the game. 11 first half points for Emma Tagle. And this is now a 13-point lead for San Beda. How will the AC operate? Backward down the middle. Couldn't make it. But he'll shoot two. And put that again for a second quarter update. Nandito si Mekai Mindanao. Martin and Prince, the EAC Generals, are on a mission to stay in the Final Four column. And if any of you are wondering kung ano-ano ang mga pre-game rituals na ginagawa ng mga Generals before every game, na-interview ko nga sila at ang sabi ni King Gortiza na inaaya niya ang kanyang team before a day before every game na magsimba. At ang sabi pa nga ni Harvey Pagsanhan na ever since the second round, he had to drink coffee every game kahit ito ang nagtutulong sa kanya na maging Calm. The team spent heavy time on their viewing and learning their opponent's strength for their preparation. Along with the training, abangan natin if their passion and preparation will pay off in today's game, Martin and Prince. Bakit naman ako nagkakape ako pero hindi ganun kalakas yung katawang ko. Sabi na ni Harvey. Feeling ko may kanya-kanya tayong ano yan eh. Uh, ritual. 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 Yeah. So, yung hindi natin napapansin na nagiging superstition na pala natin na palagi natin ginagawa. Swerte kasi eh. So, ito lang ulit yung gagawin ko sa susunod again. And I think if it's effective for him, then might as well do it. Kasi right. wala nang mawawala sa kanya eh. Sa atin. Yeah, superstitions are very much alive in sports. Diba? From the coaches to the players. Pag meron ka lang na miss sa routine mo, Parang hindi, hindi uh -huh. normal yung feeling ko eh. Kasi katulad yan, nung naglalaro ako nung college ako, everything, lahat, nagsistart ako sa left. Sa so, oh. paano ko sutin yung shorts, left. Pa paano ako magsuot ng t-shirt, ng jersey, left. Hindi ko siya napapansin until pinoint out sa akin. Right-handed ako, pero lahat ng una yung left. Yung left. Jet Bakud, scoring on the layup of the setup job. I think it was Kim Gortiza who set him up. 30 to 20. Gonzalez catches two. Nothing there, and Puno couldn't drag it down. Panikambola did to say AC. Let's check out this play. Dean Gortiza turning into a facilitator here in the first half, setting up Bakud at the rim. Pangalawang play na nilang ginamit yan, ano? Ito si Gortiza at saka si Bakud setting the screen, making sure na pag inatake ni Gortiza, Mah mahila niya yung big man itong San Beda kanina na si Bismarck ngayon itong si Celso para makita niya yung magandang role nitong ni Bakot Gorkiza that one was from way out Oftana good crash on the board 
Ito si R.C. Kalimang papalitan si Nigel Gonzalez. Kalimang was part of the starting unit. And he's getting good burn from Coach Yuri Escueta. Jude Bagay will carry this one in. Axel Roman. Axel thought about it. Covered right now by Tagli. Roman swing to Oftana. Off the back iron, Puno tries for the board. Grabe yun, nakita mo yung talon ni Celso at ni Bakot. Ang taas na eh. Pero may isang kamay yeah. na lumagpas. Tagli sends it out. Spray kang Limag. Nothing there. Andrada gets it back. Tagli, this time it's his turn. And he is still hot from the outside. Fourth triple. Para dito kay Evan Tagli. Yan naman ang malaking props na meron ng San Beda. Ano, now that they have a three bigs inside with Puno, Celso, and Yuki and Andrada, pwede naman tumira to si Taglet sa si Kalimag anytime they want. And pag nag-collapse sila dun sa tatlong big na nasa ilalim on offense, mau-open at mau-open tong shooters. Eh, nasusut pa nila eh. Yeah. Natapigan si Duromal. RC Kalimag operating. Just couldn't buy a basket. I better stay with San Beda who is in full control in the second first half 13 point lead for the Red Lions going into this break Alam nyo ba na meron din kapuso stars ang nag-aral sa NCAA schools? Ilan sa mga ito ay sina Yasser Marta na naging team B ng San Sebastian bago lumipat sa LPU Si Anthony Rosaldo naman ay galing sa Arellano at si Rocco Nasino na naging Mr. Mapua pa Mga perpetualites naman sina Kailin Alcantara at Shaira Diaz, habang tubong St. Benilde sina El Villanueva at David Licauco. Proud bedans naman sina Sofia Seneron, Christopher Martin at Andre Paras. At syempre, ang kapuso primetime king na si Ding Dong Dantes ay galing... Oh, cutie cam! Can natin hear feature si Mikay dito. Pero ito audience natin right now inside the Fidel Echo Center joining us! On a Wednesday morning, almost noon time. Ayan, oh. na, nagip naman dun si Nag Mikay. Ayan, tama, tama. Uh. Dalawa naman silang nakunan. <laughs> and may exposure pa rin si Mikay. <laughs> Nagawa ng paraan ni Direk yun, ha? Ang galing, ang galing. Oh, good to see beautiful ladies watching here in the game. Good crowd as well. Ayan, ayan. Our course side reporter. Siya po mismo nag-request niyan. Ready siya dyan. As in, pagdating pa lang kanina, alam niya na na-ready na siya para dyan sa cutie cam na yan. And... Kudos to you, Mikay, and exposure yan para sa'yo. Sabi niya, niloloko-loko lang niya eh. Sabi niya, direct, cute ka mo naman ako. Ay, ginawa nga. Hindi, cute naman eh. Oo, yeah. Tama, cute naman. Hinahantay ko nga yun sa akin eh. Ang flex kang ka daw. Meantime, back to the action. Still in the second frame. Here's the lob inside. Jiris Pass. Easily tricked off by the Generals. And they're staring at a 13-point deficit. Gordiza. Turamal. Turamal will back up. And to shoot. Actis has it. They swing it to Loristo, who pulls the trigger. And Loristo rattles it home. Loristo has transformed into a stretch big for EAC just this season. Itong si Loristo, yung build niya, tsaka yung laro niya, parang may pagka-Troy Rosario. Ah, pwede. Bagay sa kanya yung ganong klase ng laro. Muscular frame, may athleticism. Tapos yun, nagdagdag pa ng tira sa labas. At Dilag, will be called for the foul. There's that play, Duroman, making the right decision here. To send it to Jello Loristo for the catch and shoot. And... Paul Guido Sarkela, Puno with a miss. Do Senzo. Nice activity underneath. Royo. The curling Kalima. Pass is deflected. Senzo will miss. Sanmera gets another crack at it. Yan yung strength ng three big na meron kayo. Pasok mo lang na ipasok. Dito sa painted area. Andrada gets fouled. That's a mismatch for you, Ken, because he had a shorter King Gortiza on him. And you know that's a very smart play, you know? But again, the coaching staff that they have now, yeah. yung San Beda, tendency ano mga coaching staff nila, dahil nasa pro na sila ng galing, na pag may nakita kang mismatch, you make sure na you explore yeah. that mismatch. 
And so far, si Yuki, nakikita ko naman ginagawa na yun. Hmm. Halos every time na napapanood ko siya, may makita lang siya na medyo mas maliit na bantay niya, kukunin niya yung bola sa loob. And I think, maganda yun para sa San Beda. Kasi, napo-force niya yung kalaban nila to rotate. Yeah. Yeah. And giving them the chance to kick the ball out. Or if hindi sila mag-rotate, ito yung makukuha nila. Oh, look at the hustle of Celso. Getting an offensive rebound, Andrada. Got it! Four-point stretch for the Red Lions. And they extend the lead to its largest so far at 14. Martin, kung ikaw si Coach Gerson, anong sa tingin mong gagawin mong changes sa depensa? They need to switch it up. They need to react what's to San, what San Beda is giving them. Initially, zone sila. Pag nakadating na sa loob yung bola, nauhin na na yung big man. I mean, that's easier said than done, though, against the Red Lions. And San Han! Counted off the last plus the foul. Iko-quote ko lang dito si Anton, ano? Kung Sige. si Anton yung nagsasalita ngayon para sa akin, ang sasabihin niya doon, yan yung core strength. Imagine mo, binangga ka ng diretso pa rin yung katawan mo para ma-finish yeah. yung ganong klase ng tira. <laughs> how about yeah, Mr. That's, Posture? That's right. Look at this. Harry Batsanhan under the rest. Still able to flip it up and in. Yeah, if you're EAC, you don't have the height advantage against Sandeda. They oh. have the three big lineup. Tama. Tapos medyo nasa foul trouble yung mga players nila eh. Uh, so yeah. hindi mo naman pwedeng, ano, hindi ka naman pwedeng mag-switch lang dyan. Yeah. Dahil pag nakita nila yung mismatch, hinahanap talaga nila. Tapos mainit pa. Ito si Eman Tagle. Five threes for Tagle here in the first half. Ayan, sa mga hindi nakapansin, itong si Tagle lumabas yan ng game kanina nung five minutes pa lang na natitira. And with four minutes left, andito na siya ulit. Yeah. Drop off here. Nice set up by Ojabo to Etinag. Eman Tagle has been the hero for San Beda. 17 points. Big time out by Gojuri. Kung sa Season 99 ay may new heroes of the game, itong unang siglo ay meron ding OG heroes ang NCAA. Hindi lang kasi mga sports legends at mga sikat na celebrities ang naging bunga ng NCAA schools. Kundi pati na rin ang mga pambansang bayani ng Pilipinas at dating presidente. Produkto ng Kolehyo de San Juan de Letran ang mga revolusyonaryong sina Apolinario Mabini at Emilio Jacinto. Ganun din ang mga dating presidenteng sina Manuel Quezon, Sergio Osmeña. Emma Tagle is still waxing hot from the outside. Five triples, five out of six. He has 17 across his name. Akaro Chavo making a great play here, crossing over, got to the pin, drop off to his big guy, David Nilag. So Frank Uzi Jr., Mancom representative number Perpetual. Uh, Perpetual will be in action in our second game facing the Mapua Cardinals. That's going to come at 2.30 p.m. Abang na po yan. Pero, nila tayo sa kalahate dito sa ating unang laban, EAC contra San Beda. The Red Lions so far, everything has been working for them here in the first half, friends. And nakikita ko naman dito para kay Coach Gerson, mahihirapan talaga sila mag-set up ng offense dahil ang defense ng San Beda sa lahat ng ball screen nila ngayon is hard show na. Yeah. Kung nung una, umakandar sila para pumayag silang tumira sa labas ngayon, hard show na, pre-prevent na nila si Gortiza, si Ochavo, si Doromal na umatake at ibigay sa big yung bola. Ano pa bang pwedeng gawin ni Coach? Kung kanina, tinira nila sa labas, hindi naging effective uh -huh. ngayon, tinatry nilang atakihin, umahar show yung kalaban. May hirapan ka talagang basahin yung mga ganong switch up ng depensa. Ooh, what a move! From King Gortiza, he's been silent in this game. And he breaks the silence with that play. Okay, tigyan muna natin ito. May kinokontest dito. But nice spin. Gortiza from right. Hold on. Left to right. Spinning away and then kissing it off the glass. That was a beautiful move. Yeah. And very, very tough to do. Very hard That's to do. Pero itong Sandeda. Yeah. They got what they wanted, a sportsman-like foul on the contact. And the uh, succeeding play, by the way, for Gurtiza, that was his first field goal. He, was he has been, hasn't been looking for his shots in 
know, he's been oh, trying to get ball. his teammates yes, involved. Yes, he's, he's been trying to look for his teammates, na hoping na kung uminit sila, mm -hmm. mababawasan ngayon yung pressure sa kanya. And yun yung time na chance niya na to create for himself. But so far, medyo hindi successful. Ah, okay. Kasi hindi rin nahuhulog yung mga tira ng teammates niya. And I think, ngayon na yung time para gawa niya ng paraan, muna yung sarili niya. Then, pag nag-collapse sa kanya, tsaka niya ulit hanapin. So, unsportsmanlike foul. Both free throws missed by Puno, but they still have a bonus possession. There is with AJ Royo. Puno. Tulina. Against it, Tina. What a pass! Royo deep! Left, left, delay! Ito yung isa sa mga bagay na sinasabi ni Coach Yuri tungkol kay Bismarck. Ano? Kaya ganun kataas yung tiwala niya kay Bismarck dahil si Bismarck yung type ng player na hindi selfish. Yeah. May mga plays na para sa kanya. Pero kahit para sa kanya yung play, pag may nakita siyang teammate na open, nasa labas o kumakat, binibigay niya. It was a beautiful cut by AJ Royo. Look at this, the vision by Bismarck to the cutting Royo. You can argue that that was actually a dangerous pass kasi tatlo yung white shirts dun sa ilalim. And mahirap gawin yung pasa na yun. Ha? Dahil syempre, nakapost ka, nakatalikod ka, and yung bantay mo, nakataas pa yung kamay. To have that vision, dapat alam mo kung saan talaga pumupunta yung teammate mo. And dun lalabas yung chemistry. And on the other side, he, he was charged with the offensive foul. So, eto na si AJ Royo. Impactful minutes off the bench for AJ today. Tagle! Misses. Oh, Chaboy! Misses at the rim. Sorry, missed for Kayan. Oh, Puno. With the catch. Jamel. Sending it out. They swing it to Andrada. Inside, Lina, yes! Bismarck scores, and it is now a 15-point lead for San Beda. Oh, Bismarck making sure na maramdaman nila yung presence niya sa loob. Harvey left it short. That was a desperate shot para dito sa EA team. Hindi nila kailangan tumira ng mga badges na ganyan dahil they're only down for 16, and kaya pa yan, medyo... Yeah. And siyempre, first half pa lang tayo, madami pa pwedeng mangyari. Ang nakikita ko sa game na to kung paano naglaro yung EAC last game with their chemistry and how they look for their teammates, yun ang ginagawa ng San Beda sa kanila. That's right. Jomel Puno. AJ Royo. Back to Puno from the outside. No. Rebound. is tapped. It is collected by Gurtiza. EAC needs a retaliation. This is gonna be an important minute Final minute for EAC to end the first half. Ochavo off the cross, challenging Puno. And here comes AJ Royo. Inside the final minute. Royo comes into Lina. Lina will make his move. Bismarck, yes! Hindi kakayanin, Martin, na, na parang bumalik ng man-to-man -man itong EAC, ano? Kasi yung threat para dito sa San Beda, yung tira nila sa labas na medyo mainit pa hanggang ngayon. Tapos meron din silang big man presence sa ilalim. Paano mo isosolve yun? Hirap na. Tapos hindi pa nila ma-shoot yung tira nila from the outside. Asan ka kukuha ngayon? Nung kakailanganin mong puntos para pababain yung lamang. So better right now, just cruising here. And they go back to Bismarck. You can. Royo. Against Luciano this time. For the shoot. Lina inside. Bismarck. Lina stretches the lead to 19 for the Red Lions. Beautiful basketball. Beautiful. Bismarck Lina with three pockets to end. The first half, and it's a massive 19-point advantage for the defending champions, 48-29. And we'll check out the story of the first half by the numbers and through our highlights. And we'll show that in just a little bit. Top squad team natin po magpo-perform at the halftime break. Lahat kong yan sa pagbalik ng NCAA Season 100.